welcome to Gradeful, where we provide SAT and ACT tutoring for students all around the world. Right now, we're working on Digital SAT Test 4 Math Module 2 Question 26, which you can find on College Board's website. This question is a crazy one. We've got these two identical rectangular prisms. Each have a height of 90. So let's go ahead and bring a little picture of that in. So here's one rectangular prism. And here's another rectangular prism. And they each have a height of 90. And they also each have a square base. So let's imagine that the sides of the base are x, because we don't know what they are, but we know they're equal. A little easier to see on the top here that all four of those are x's. And if we want the surface area of one of those prisms, it's got a top and a bottom to it. So for instance, this green face right here, and the mirror image of it, which is on the bottom of the shape, but each of those have an area that's the base times the height, x times x. So that's x squared, and there are two of them. Then we've got four sides that are equal to this red face here. So this is the right face of it, but there's also the front, the back, and the left. So there are four faces that have an area of 90 times x. And that's the surface area of one of the prisms, which we're told is equal to k. The question then says we're going to glue these together along a square base. So just imagine we take the first one and put it on the bottom, and the second one stacked right on top of it, and we're going to get one bigger shape. We're stacking it vertically because the square base, the green part, is where they had to be glued together. So let's just imagine the top of one of these was glued to the bottom of the other one. Now we have a taller shape. Now the height of this new shape is 180, but the bases still have side lengths of x. So if we want the surface area of this new shape, it's got the top and the bottom, two, two faces, that each have areas of x times x, x squared, and then there are also four more faces, the front, the back, the left, and the right, kind of similar to this red piece on our first shape, but longer. And those have an area of x times 180, 180x. So let's go ahead and just rewrite that with 720, because 180 times 4 is 720. And we're told that the surface area of that is equal to this crazy expression. 92 over 47k. So the idea now is going to be if we want to join this equation with this equation, we have to really see what they have in common. And what they really have in common that's easy to identify is k. So if we can get k by itself, then we can use that to set the equations equal. So let me show you that. Multiply by 47 over 92 here, 47 over 92 here. Here it's going to cancel, giving us just k. And so right now we've got k is equal to all of this stuff. 47 over 92 times 2x squared plus 720x. So now if k equals this and k also equals this, then we're allowed to set those two things equal to each other. This, by the way, is 360x. So let's bring that over here, 2x squared plus 360x, and let's bring this other one over here, equals 47 over 92 times the 2x squared plus 720x. Now, to start making better sense of this, we can go ahead and multiply. Let's just go ahead and multiply both sides of this by 92 over 47. So it's going to kind of get it out of here. It's going to cancel there and there. 
and we've got the 2x squared plus 720x. And now here, we've got the 92 over 47 times the 2x squared. And then we've also got that same thing, 92 over 47 times 360x. So we're just imagining what would happen if we distributed from here to here and from here to here. Get some of these arrows out of the way. So next, just really carefully trying to take care of this because a mistake can be made quite easily on this question. Let's multiply both sides by 47. That's going to cancel, this would cancel with this. And that'll give us the 92 times 2. So let's write that part. 92 times 2 is 184. Don't forget the x squared. And now when we multiply by the 47 here, the 47s are canceling, leaving us with 92 times 360x. And 92 times 360x on a calculator is equal to 30. 3,120x. And on the right hand side, since we multiply by 47, when we distribute here, we're going to get 94, and here we're going to get 33,840. Welcome to the digital SAT, guys. So 94x squared plus 33,840x. And next, we can just go ahead and maybe get everything on one side for now. So take away 94x squared, take away 33,840x. So take it away from both sides. So now on the left-hand side, we've got... 90, let's just draw a line so we don't confuse those. We've got 90x squared minus 720x equals 0. And there are a couple of ways to proceed here, but let's just go ahead and add the 720x back to the opposite side. So we'll have 90x squared equals 720x. And how about we divide both sides by 90x? And we will get x, because x squared divided by x is just x. And here, the x's are canceling, and we get an 8 right there. And what is that 8? That's the side length of each square base. It's this thing that we started with, and that's why the answer to this very complicated question is... Thanks, and have a great day.